Hello, hello. I hope I am level. Um, I've come to just do a quick tutorial on some paper bags. Um, I've made loads of paper bags in my time to put crafts in and things like that. But um, I'm making some larger ones at the moment and I thought I might as well just pop on and, and show you how um, I make them. Now, I'm not going to give you any me measurements. Me <laughs> I'm not going to give you any because you can make these any size. All you need is a, a piece of paper that's going to cover what you want to go in your bag. So um, I need some quite big bags. So I'm using a double music sheet page. It's quite a quite a thick sheet, which is perfect for what I want. Now, the first thing I've done is I've just taken a small amount off one edge so I'll give you those measurements. I've taken off about one and a half inches, which is about four centimetres. So what I do is, first of all, um, I'm using Fabri-Tac because it's nice and quick. If I was, if I had time to wait, these are you're actually going to see these bags very soon because the very next video, these are for the project that I'm showing in the very next video. So I'm just going to run a bead of glue along both edges like so and then I am folding this over and gluing that down. Now if you're concerned you can always put the crease in before you put the glue on, that's fine. So we've now got a tube shape which is exactly what we need. Okay. So while that's this side is drying, I'm just going to flip this over and I'm going to open up my tube. I hope you can see this. So I've got the crease here and I'm just going to fold this in on one edge. I don't know, about two and a half centimetres. Like so. And then I'm going to fold that crease in on itself and hold it like this. So I'm going to hold this crease and slowly push that out. Ooh. Okay. So now I'm just going to use my bone folder and flatten that down. So now I have a little crease here and you can see it's that kind of shape from the top. Okay, so I'm not bothered about these two being perfectly equal, but what I am going to do is the same on the other side. Um, but what I tend to do is have this, where we've just glued, I have that facing down because I will make my crease roughly where we glued. And then I'll fold that crease in on itself. Hold down my this side I'm holding down the, the folds we made before and then just running that crease in there so we now have this shape like so okay now there are two ways to finish this bag off um, what we could do is create sorry we could crease here and here if we wanted to, pull these out, glue along there and then fold these flaps in. I know that's not very clear but that's not the kind of bag I want because this needs to go into the post. So what I'm going to do is I'm having my bag the right way up. I am just going to make a little fold here again. It's um, those of you that like measurements, um, I just had that ruler, didn't I? Here we go. Um, yep, yeah, it's about one and a half inches or uh, three and a half centimeters, roughly. Okay, so I've now got this open, um, and what I'm going to do is I am going to open this up, and I'm just cutting to that crease line on one of my edges. I hope that makes sense. And then this flap, I'm just going to fold up out of the way. 
this is the one we're going to keep the single flap but the one with the creases in and all of this is what we're going to cut away so I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut along that crease making sure I don't cut into this flap so this is a great expandable um, bag you could make very small ones to go into your um, journals whatever size this one is to have a journal put in to go into a journal that <laughs> a journal is going to go in this bag so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mitre that corner and that corner of the flap and just to give it a bit of an edge I've got these rather pants decorative scissors because <laughs> they don't cut through very well I think they're children's well they they were from a craft shop they weren't sold as children's scissors but they are not brilliant but they do give us a bit of an edge I'm going to take my glue and I am going to just glue this flap now it's obviously got to take the weight of whatever you're putting in your bag this um, is probably not going to be taking a whole lot of weight so I'm just going to do that right now I want a pretty edge along this side of the bag as well I'm just going to see if I've got another pair of scissors because those have kind of got worse as I've gone along these are no they're not really going to work so I'm going to use these ones again and hopefully they're cut through my paper certainly doesn't like going through more than one sheet of this at a time but we're going to force it we're gonna make, make it cut through there okay so we've now got a pretty edge now these are for some travelers notebooks and we know that the travelers notebook is about 21 centimeters high so I want to make sure I've got enough room to slot my my TN in here and I want a little bit of a gap at the top as well so I'm going to fold about 24 centimeters so that's how big my bag is going to be so I'm going to fold that down so what I'm going to do is I've got my single hole punch and you could do this in so many ways I'm going to put a hole there and I'm going to put a hole there and what I will do once these are all finished and my journals are inside I'm going to take my twine I'm going to thread it into my holes like so and that will be tied closed. Now if you, you know, you could, you could close this in lots of ways. You could use ribbon on here, you could do a single hole and just tie it closed. But what I like about these, I was thinking about this as I was making these before, is they actually are now very sturdy and if you wanted to you could glue this actual flap shut or you could just double it up and it would make a really nice little journal cover. So um, that would make a really nice little cover. So that is how I have been making my bags um, and the good thing about them is they are ex ex expandable so you could you know you could bulk these out they'd be perfect for happy mail and things like that i hope you found it useful i know it was a bit quick um but i just thought this was the last one i, I needed to make so i thought well rather than make an additional one that i won't need i will make one that i do need so i hope you found it useful <laughs> i will be back very 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 soon and it's very very dark so i hope it's not as dark on the on the camera as it looks so um I will see you very soon. Uh, I'm babbling a bit now, so I'm going to go. See you later.